name is Cody Lerivier. I work with Washington Fruit. Behind me here, we have automation irrigation set up in this farm, as well as monitors and sensors for tree and soil monitoring to decide how we're gonna best water our blocks. So the first thing that I wanna show is the planner that we use to set up our irrigation. We are currently at Pintail Ranch, so I'll go to that ranch. As you can see, we have all of our blocks grouped together. We have it grouped for drip by variety, so it's easier to run, but we group the blocks so it's just easier to turn on blocks rather than individual blocks at a time. So we're currently at block 11, Cosmic. So for the drips, to set up an irrigation event, I'll go here, click on the block, click on the day. And what we typically do, you can see all three blocks there, six, five, and 11. So we'll have a start time, our duration, and then our block delay. We do a block delay so it allows the water to go into one block every minute so that way you're not having all the blocks get hit with a whole bunch of water at once. And so once we set this for a block delay and our duration, then I can go here, click add irrigation event, and then what happens is it'll go get registered to this device here which is connected to a solenoid that will turn the block on at that time or open the valve at that time that we'd like the water to run since we've already looked at the automation irrigation now we're looking at our tree sensors and apple sensors and so through these this will help us decide when to do our automation irrigation and do our sets we set up these sensors in groups of three as you can see we try to pick the best three trees that are representative of the block. And so down here you have the dendrometer, and then right here you have an apple sensor. Through these, these help us drive when we're gonna irrigate and how, how much we will irrigate. So first we look at dendrometer and soil moisture. And showing early on in the season we want trees to grow. So we will give them, keep them about 80% field capacity, looking at our moisture and our trunk growth throughout the first six to eight weeks of the season. So on the app here, currently at the app, we're at Pinto Ranch. You can see all of our blocks have monitoring on them. You hit this hamburger button in the bottom right hand corner, and you can see all the blocks that are monitored by Andrometers, and we only have three blocks of the Cosmics that are monitored by Apple monitors. So we'll go into block 11 Cosmics in here, looking at our root zone and profile, we can see how much moisture we have in the ground. And that one dictates on how much we water, how often we'll water um, throughout certain times of the year. Early season, we wanna keep about 80% fuel capacity to allow the trees to grow. Once we hit about first week of June, we want to start deficit irrigating, so we will drop them down and keep them about 60 to 70% in the cosmics, and the honeys will do a little bit less, uh, probably about 40 to 50% field capacity. And using the soil moisture and the tree growth, the MDS, which shows the maximum daily shrinkage, that allows us to show if we're on the right path with the growth or if we need to shut down more, not water as much, or water more. So we have two sections here, MDS and growth, that uh, show the growth in microns of the trunk throughout the day. For me, these have become important parts in figuring out how we irrigate, how we get our desired average crop size for the fruit at the end of the season um, through this technology. So having this has one changed how we do irrigation sets. We will do shorter, more frequent sets where we used to do longer sets uh, in the past. Um, we're able to monitor trees more closely showing if they're stressed or not too stressed before they actually show signs of being stressed. And for the fruit monitoring, it's been helpful because we put a fruit monitor on about first second week of June and we can gauge where we want that fruit to end up at our harvest date whether it's beginning of September for honey beginning to middle of October for cosmic Chris um, that has made a huge impact uh, affecting our irrigation and how we want these trees to grow